Hey, Brad Brood here with Flames Unfiltered. Time for another Flames Unfiltered shorts as, uh, yeah, big day today in Calgary. Johnny Gaudreau will test the free agency market. Brad Living announced it just a couple hours ago. Um, yeah, and I've been trying to uh, <laughs> get a grip on what, what that means for the Calgary Flames and what that means for the, uh, the fans of Calgary as it seems like there is a, a lot of panic in Calgary right now. Um, now, I'm not panicking like maybe many would think. Um, do I want Johnny Gaudreau to test free agency? Absolutely not. Um, but did I want the Flames to overpay Johnny Gaudreau? And we couldn't afford to do that. Now, my number was 9.5 for eight years. And uh, it sounded like Calgary went 10 plus. Um, that scares me a bit. Um, I think Johnny Gaudreau is a great hockey player. And I think that um, this last year really, um, well, it really changed my tone on Johnny Gaudreau. Now, I've always thought Johnny Gaudreau was a good hockey player. But when you start talking dollar figures over $10 million, I kind of reserve that to the elite elites, uh, the Nathan McKinnons, the Connor McDavid's, um, those type of um, players that are going to be able to throw a team on their back and, and run them through the playoffs. Now, Johnny Gaudreau. Let's talk Johnny Gaudreau. Um, two years ago, very frustrated with him. I thought he was not good. I thought his effort level was uh, lacking. Uh, I wanted Johnny Gaudreau gone. I was waiting for this day. I was not happy with his playoff performance other than his first year when he was proven himself. Um, but that being said, he completely proved me wrong last year. And, I, and I've admitted that. Uh, he was wonderful last year. He was everything I could have dreamed of. A two-way player. Um, just a point generator. Um, did all the right things. Um, was Benefited his line mates. Lynn Holman Kachuk benefited enormously from Johnny Gaudreau last year. And you know what? I'll give him credit too. He was, he was good in the playoffs too. Um, so all in all, um, I'm sad to see Johnny Gaudreau go. But one thing Flames fans got to keep in mind a little bit is that when you put a guy on your roster with 10 plus, he's got to be a game changer and most importantly, a series changer. Cause as much as I like successful regular seasons, it's been since 89 since that we want to, that we want a cup. I'm ready to change that. I want playoff winners. Could Johnny Gaudreau be that? Probably. But I wasn't willing to take that risk at over 10 million. Um, I'm sad. I'm disappointed. I was hoping that they could come to a, a $9 million agreement. I'm a little frustrated. Now, I'm going to defend Johnny and the fact that he earned this right. The Flames pushed him to the brink six years ago when he was a restricted free agent and negotiated difficult with him. It was his turn. He earned that right, and I respect that. Where I have a little bit of problems with it is in the fact that tonight it was stated by Brad True Living, um, reported by LeBron and Friedman that this was a, it was a family decision. And I'll preface this by saying family is the most important thing in the world. We have to make decisions that are going to best for us and most importantly, our family and the happiness of our family as a whole. Now, Johnny's expecting a little little guy or little gat girl here soon, and that's going to change his life and, and be one of the most important things. But with him making this decision and saying it's a family decision, that leads me to believe that money wasn't a factor. And if that's true, then why were Johnny Gaudreau and the Flames negotiating so deep into the deadline and acting as if there could be a deal done because negotiations were strong today and all reports were that the flames and Gaudreau were going back and forth. Could it be a family decision that he made today? Well, yeah, but he had to have a pretty strong inclination of that heading into it. Now, does he owe the flames anything of having to tell them? No, he doesn't. But this city gave Johnny Gaudreau a lot. A lot. 
And Johnny Gaudreau gave Calgary a lot. He was great. He was great in the community. He, was, he did everything right. I'm a little disappointed, though, that if this was a family decision, why the negotiating went so late if it didn't have to do with money and how it got to the level that it did and then him saying it's a family decision. Um, I'm assuming he's going to go out, and if I had to place my bets, um, Johnny Guerrero will be signed with the New Jersey Devils tomorrow. Um, some people say Philadelphia. Some people say the Islanders. I highly doubt anybody other than New Jersey is going to be able to give him the money that Calgary was. And if you look at the complete term of the contract, I highly doubt that anybody will be able to give that at all. So it, then it was a family decision. And did Johnny Gaudreau screw the flames by dragging it out so long? Kind of. Because until this domino fell, they couldn't do anything else with any of their other players. And that's unfortunate. But on the flip side of that, Johnny Gaudreau earned that. He earned that. It'll be interesting to see where he goes. It'll be interesting to see how much he gets. Um, a lot of the Flames fans are acting like this team's doom and gloom. And the sun's going to come up tomorrow. Things are going to be fine in Calgary. Will it be different without Johnny Gaudreau? Yes. Is it uh, difficult to uh, replace a 100-point goal scorer or a 100-point um, person on your team? Absolutely. And I don't think the Flames are going to rush out and make drastic moves in free agency tomorrow to try to fix that because it's not out there. And panic moves are not going to help this team and not going to get us anywhere in the right direction. We've gained a lot of salary cap now. And cap is king. We lost Johnny Gaudreau. It's a sad day in Calgary. But Calgary Flames fans, overpaying would have been a sad years, not days. Will we get through this? Yes. Who knows? Sometimes things work out for the best. We as fans were all calling for a change of the core two years ago when things went south and the Flames didn't make the playoffs. Geo went separate ways. And things got better. Can that happen with Gaudreau? It'd be a little bit more difficult. But you know what? Things happen for a reason. And you know what? Now the core is different. The core is changed. And we'll see where it goes. Who will step up? We didn't know Johnny Gaudreau as a late round draft pick was going to be what Johnny Gaudreau turned out to be. And you know what? We don't know what Johnny Gaudreau is going to be in a new market. Not having... Kachuk and Lindholm. Because as much as he helped them, they helped him. It's a sad day in Calgary. But I'm slightly optimistic that things will work out in the long run. Check out an episode of Flames Unfiltered dropping Thursday morning as Kyle Lewis joins the show. And we've got a lot to talk about on the Johnny Gaudreau front. That's tomorrow night as we record. It'll drop Thursday morning. Thanks to everybody that supports the show. Um, I have a lot of fun putting this Flames Unfiltered together, and I, I appreciate everybody uh, that's, that supports us. Check us out on flamesunfiltered.com. Get a good night's sleep, Flames fans. Uh, free agency starts tomorrow. And uh, we don't have Johnny Gaudreau, but we do have cap space now.